Hey, and what is up everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now in today's video, I am going to be making the fastest hypercar, or at least attempting to make the fastest hypercar in Southwest Florida. Now before I get on with the video, I don't like promoting like my channels before the video, but I just started a ATS channel. Um, a lot of y'all wanted me to start an ATS channel, so if you want to go over there, subscribe, uh, and support out uh, and support the channel. That would be great. Help that channel gain some traction, get a little bit of views, and yeah, I hope y'all will enjoy that channel. The link will be in this video, my bio. And you can also find it on my Instagram and my Twitter. Don't forget about my Twitter. But anyways, let's get into making the fastest hypercar. Now, of course, we have to go to the dealership. Now, you're going to need quite a bit of money, um, but nothing that FinTech can't get you. Um, when we go into the hypercar section, you're wanting to get the Venom GT. It is currently $1.2 million or to be exact, $1,250,000. Um, it currently comes with uh, 1,244 horsepower. Um, we're going to reduce that weight, but it currently is at 2,743 ho horsepower. So we're going to go ahead and buy that. And then I will see y'all in the shop. Alrighty, so now that we're in the shop, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go and park. There we are. We're going to put the parking brake on. We're going to turn off the car. Alrighty. Now, paint, of course, you know me. If you're on the channel, we have to do the paint. Um, I think mm, we're going to go for the yellow. I like the yellow. It looks pretty cool. Now, here is the important part. Now, we want to go stage 3 engine. It's $18,000. Um, we want to go turbocharging. That's $20,000. We want to go maximum brake, 7,000, maximum weight reduction, 2,000, uh, tires, 3,000, transmission, 18,000. We want to go for the maxed one. Now, suspension, you actually want to leave stock. You don't want to mess with suspension, and here's why. When you, when you accelerate, the more you accelerate, the more the front of the car will dip because of the air and stuff you'll actually um, start catching air. Um, if you if you want to, I would raise the front suspension just a little bit. That way it doesn't really, um, that way it doesn't really like go into the road because it'll like to jump into the road and stuff. Wheel width you'll leave alone. Uh, wheel size you want to mess with a little bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make, we're gonna, I wanna say it's like 250. And then you want to make the rear wheel smaller and the front of the wheel bigger. Um, and then you want to go into, I think, offset. Yeah, you want to go into offset. And for the front, you just want to make sure that it's not touching the fender because the wheel and the fender will start to hate each other and it will, uh, it will not be good. Now, we're going to go ahead and buy that. Now, of course, you don't have to make this all the way, like, max and all and this to the minimum. Um, it, it really doesn't do much. It literally changes it by, like, 10 miles an hour. So, you know, do it, do with what you will with that information. Uh, keep it rear, rear wheel drive. Differentials, uh, you want to do 100 gearing you want to do around you can you can mess with it a little bit i found the best to be 181 or maybe 180 that's better Alrighty, and then uh before actually before we we're gonna do some rims uh stance let's see here could go with these rims and then change the paint to black. That looks pretty good. Now, because the wheel difference does not make a, it doesn't really make a difference. I mean, it might, 
I don't, I don't know. Maybe we can, obviously I want to keep this car. So I'm going to change the, the, the wheel size, but just for the video purpose, um, we, we are, we are trying to make this the fastest we can. Um, so we'll just leave it how it is. And now of course it is time to test it out. I've never done this before. Um, but I feel like it's going to be pretty fast. So I will see you when I get to the other side of the map. And then we can, um, we can play around with this and test it out. Alrighty, so now we are at the end of the map. So we're going to go ahead in one, two, three. We're going to see how fast this goes. In one, two, three, let's go. Traction control is going crazy right now. We're at 200 miles an hour. We're about to hit 300. 300 miles an hour. 320. I've gotten this to hit. Okay, so the wheels. Okay, hold up. Look, hold up. I know how to make it go, go 20 miles faster. Hold up. I knew, I knew that was the reason why it didn't go as fast. Hold up. You want to go back to dealership? I'm sorry. I think I made a flaw in building this. I think the, the wheel, the wheel difference, we, we messed with too much. I think go to performance, uh, go to wheel size. Um, so I know I maybe like 50. And this 100. We're gonna try that. My ADHD, I have to make sure it's 50. Okay, now let's go try it out. Okay, this should work a little better. That way we're not catching as much air in the front end. Now I am kind of worried though that it will, um, that it'll get stuck in the road, but I guess we'll just have to test it out. And I mean, the acceleration on this is crazy, dude. I, I swear, like, the 0 to 60 is probably less than 3 seconds. Here, we can actually test out the 0 to 60. Um, okay. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, it was about three, two, 2 to 3 seconds. Alrighty. We hit 200 miles an hour, 250. 300 and we're still picking up speed 330 that's 10 miles more than 340 I did get it I did get it up to um, 357 I don't know why it's not going 357 anymore but that was that was like um, that was like the fastest I've ever gotten this um, but yeah, I think that was a, a success. Now, of course, I'm sure people probably have made faster, but I, I do have to say it is a simple and probably one of the cheaper ways to make the fastest hypercar. Um, and yeah, so pretty cool. And I think we did all right. I do want to thank y'all for watching. And like I said, please go follow my other channel. Go help um, blow that one up. It, it it should be a lot of fun. I, I do commentary while driving and stuff like that. So it's almost like watching a trucker vlog if you like those. Uh, go subscribe. And of course, subscribe to this channel as well. And again, thank y'all so much for... We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. Let's get us there. We're so close. Um, and anyways, I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Share this video and comment what I should do next. And as always, I will see you on the next one, and goodbye.